Great. We can you see the screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, can you see the red graph? Yes. And you can see the green graph? Yes. Okay, does it look like the picture in your question? No, I can see the graph. Is is that the graph that was given to you? Yes, it is. Okay, great. I got it right. We have Mandla okay. on the line. Mandla is from Body Bing High School in Kroenstadt. Mandla yes. has called in with a question, and the question is about trig graphs. Mandla, work through it with me. They tell you that the graphs intersect at... It intersects at 8, and the coordinates of A is 63,4 and P. The coordinates of A are 63,4 and 4 P. 4 degrees and P. Yes. Where yes. else does it intersect? At point B. And the two graphs intersect also at point B. E. Great. Point B, 270 degrees and minus 1. Okay, Mandla, can you turn your TV uh, a bit down? Yes. Your TV is uh, a bit too loud for us. And we're okay. struggling here on the other side. You need to turn your television, the sound down. Keep okay. the television on, but just turn the sound down. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a moment to do that. Okay. Are we back? Yes. Okay. This point here is 180 minus 2. Yes. This point here is 270 minus 1. This point yes. here is 91, 180. Okay. We're happy. Yes. Right, what's the question? Yes. The question is, I must complete the following. F at X is equal to, I must give F at X. Yes, and G of X. Yes. Okay. Now, just remind me, I haven't labeled the one that is F and the one that is G. Which one yes. is F? Is it the red graph or the green graph? The red graph. The red graph is F. Great. Yes. And the G green one is G. Super. Yes. Okay, well, guys back at home, if you know anything about the graphs, you will understand that the sine and cos graphs, they are waves that have period, and the period of a sine curve or a cos curve is generally 360 degrees. If you look at these, their period is 360. Let's understand why. If you look at the green graph, the wave starts at naught naught and goes through, and only after 360 degrees does it, does it start to repeat itself. This red wave will do exactly the same. Starts up there at 2, and the next time it's up at 2 is after 360 degrees. From 0 to 360 for the wave to get back to where it is. And therefore, its period is 360. Now, if the graph has a period of 360, then we know that if the graph has a period of 360, then we know that the coefficient in front of the x, the number in front of the x, is 1. Always. We have to know that. We must remember it. 360 degree is the wavelength, I mean the, the period, then the coefficient of x is 1. When you change that number in front of the x, what happens is it changes the period of the graph. But in this question, the period is 360 for both graphs. Therefore, the number in front of the x is 1.